What if the universe's oldest star clusters were forged by monsters? Stars thousands of times more massive than our sun. A new study from the University of Barcelona suggests exactly that. These ancient systems, called globular clusters, are like time capsules, dense balls of millions of stars, over 10 billion years old, born just after the Big Bang. But their stars have always carried a strange chemical signature, unusual amounts of helium, nitrogen, oxygen, and magnesium elements that shouldn't exist in such abundance. Now, researchers think they've found the culprit's extremely massive stars, or M's. In the turbulent gas clouds of the early universe, these giants, weighing 1,000 to 10,000 times, the mass of the sun were born. They burned furiously hot, lived for only a couple of million years, and unleashed powerful stellar winds that polluted their surroundings with exotic elements. Those winds mixed with pristine gas and formed new generations of stars, each carrying the fingerprints of those first cosmic titans. Then, the giants died, collapsing into intermediate mass black holes, seeding the universe with some of its earliest gravitational monsters. This model not only explains the strange chemistry of globular clusters, it may also reveal how the first galaxies came to life. The same process could explain the nitrogen-itch galaxies, now being spotted by the James Webb Space Telescope. Fossils of an era when massive stars ruled the cosmos. The universe's oldest star clusters weren't built by ordinary suns. They were forged in the fires of impossible stars.